continues. And welcome back. I'm here with Carrie Hefner for In the Guard, and we're talking about what to do with your Easter lilies once Easter is over, and what a great subject. Oh, yeah, yeah, timely, timely. Yes, it is. I know a lot of people from church have a lot of Easter lilies that Absolutely. they brought home. Absolutely, and they're probably still looking good, and if they are, just uh, keep watering. Keep, you want to keep the soil evenly moist, not saturated, but don't let it dry out. And then, um, if you're wondering what to do with those Easter lilies, once the flowers fade away, start to fade, they uh, make great additions to your outdoor landscape. So when the flowers start to fade, you can put them outside. You want to uh, look for a place that has uh, morning sun and afternoon shade. And when the flower starts to fade, snip the flower off. But you want to keep the foliage, just like with any other bulb plant, the foliage is uh, how the plant is storing up energy for next year's uh, bloom. And you'll plant so that the root ball is even with the soil in your bed. You want a well-worked soil that drains well, uh, kind of the mantra here in Louisiana. Um, and then when the foliage dies back in midsummer, uh, it'll start to turn yellow and die down. You'll cut it off at the ground and uh, new growth will resume in the fall. It will grow through the winter and flower again next April. So that's how to take care of your Easter lily. Lilium longiflorum, a great addition to your outdoor landscape. Yes, so, it is. Yeah. So now I'll have to remember that. Absolutely. Don't just throw them out. They, the, you can take them outside and plant them. So. Do you know I still have a white poinsettia alive in my really? house? <laughs> yes. Some, and it still looks good. And it still looks good. And some people can keep them right through the year, and uh, and they still look good next Christmas. So. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. I'll try that. That would be okay. my goal. Sure. <laughs> well, every Tuesday, Carrie answers your home garden questions for live in the garden and the first question is how can I fix the dried out potting soil in my flower pots I don't want to buy more okay so this is a great question because I get to get up on my soapbox about composting and you can uh, empty out all the pots into a wheelbarrow or other vessel and if you don't compost here's your chance uh, home compost is a great addition to old potting soil you can also buy a vermiculite to put in there if the soil you're using doesn't doesn't have vermiculite, it's just the, the white little pebbly material that keeps the soil light so you get good drainage. Um, and you can buy other types of compost that will uh, rejuvenate the soil. Now I know you said, the, our viewer said she didn't want to buy any more, mm -hmm. but uh, here are, here's a great uh, reason to start a home compost pile because there is nothing better to amend your soil with. Any so. suggestions on getting started? Uh, we can we can cover that uh, on another day, mm -hmm. but just uh, plant-based kitchen scraps, grass clippings that have okay. not been treated with herbicides, mm -hmm. any of that material will start your compost pile. Great. All right, our next question is, are there any plants that repel red wasps? And if there were, believe me, we, <laughs> we would have a publication porch. on this. If our viewer finds one, uh, they could probably be a rich person. So. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely have one on my back porch for sure. Right, That's where right, they hang out. Right. Anything else you'd like to mention, Carrie? We've uh, got some extra time. Okay, so our master gardeners were out at Caroli Park this morning. We're getting ready to uh, be at the, at the art festival that's going to be down on Trenton Street on May 4th with plants for sale that we did not sell uh, back in March. Um, we're uh, continuing with the new Master Gardener class and we're going to start a new one up in Morehouse Parish very soon. We're very much looking forward to that. So a lot going on with our Master Gardeners. Very good. Thank okay. you so much for joining us. Great to have you as always. And to have your home garden questions answered, just submit them on our website, myarflamist.com. And still ahead, we're getting ready for all the weekend events with Jerrica Bennett. Stay with us. Trade names are used by the LSU Ag Center for clarity and information purposes only. Neither commercial endorsement of specific products nor a recommendation to the exclusion of similar products is implied.